the effort to oust Alameda County DA Pamela Price, and it just took a major step forward. Today, members of the group backing the recall filed paperwork to officially start the process of getting it on the ballot. Price is seven months into her tenure and has already become a lightning rod in this heated conversation about criminal justice reform and public safety. Price ran on a platform emphasizing restorative justice policies, including reducing sentences for younger offenders, eliminating most sentencing enhancements, and holding law enforcement accountable. But critics of Price say she's too lenient on violent criminals, and Katie Nielsen reports the victims of some high-profile cases are putting their voices behind this recall. Lori Mose came to the registrar's office here in Oakland today looking for justice. Justice for the murder of her son, something she says is not going to happen so long as Pamela Price is still in office. Pamela Price is directly choosing to not charge properly in my son's case. Blake Moe's mother, Lori, has been a driving force behind SAFE, or Save Alameda County for Everyone, where she and others in the group have filed paperwork showing the intent to recall current district attorney Pamela Price. Blake Moe's was shot and killed by a suspected shoplifter four months ago as he was working as a loss prevention officer at the Home Depot in Pleasanton. Since then, his mother, Lori, says D.A. Price is going easy on the female suspect in her son's case, not charging her with robbery or adding sentence enhancement that would mean more jail time if she's convicted. I think that she is really advocating more for the accused than she is the victims. Some families of victims believe Price has been pushing for the shortest possible sentences. But Price said in a sit down interview last month with our Betty Yu that she does not believe in adding sentence enhancements. Any time that we can divert someone from the criminal justice system, that is a goal because the criminal justice system has been shown to be racially biased. But recall organizers say Price's brand of reform just isn't working. When we're talking about reform, it does not mean it's a destruction. Reform means to make it better, but it's not get, making it better. We reached out to Pamela Price's campaign multiple times today asking for comment on the recall effort, but no one responded to our requests. Of course, Price also has her supporters. The co-founder of the Anti-Police Terror Project is calling the recall effort, quote, politically and racially motivated. Kat Brooks sent us a statement saying in part, it's an attack on a democratically elected black woman. The folks behind this are the same folks who ran for election and lost. They're drumming up law and order hysteria and striking fear into our communities. There are real public safety issues at stake, and I hope the people Alameda County see through these malicious attacks. So even though the paperwork was filed, it's still a long road to the ballot. The recall group needs 98,000 verified signatures from the Alameda County voters within about six months.